once again i welcome all of you to this online lecture sessions 2020 already we have completed many lessons poems and in the last lecture we have seen compound complex sentences and today we are starting our fifth grammar guide lesson which is showing relationships between ideas this is going to be a very very short lesson you are going to complete all the questions in the next lecture i am going to explain you the answers but you are going to try them first okay next time we'll see whether you have written them correct or not but today we are going to just check showing relationships between ideas okay let's begin read the two versions of the story read the two versions of the story about anita's walk home here they have given us two examples okay how writing can be different read the two versions of the story about anita's walk home notice how the same story written differently can change the impact that it has on you okay Let's check. It was a dark, moonless night. Anita walked through the deserted streets as quickly as she could. You can see here, Anita. Though she could neither see nor hear anyone, the back of her neck tingled. She wrapped her jacket more tightly around her, but the tingling intensified. As her pace quickened, she saw a shadow swoop down behind her, and she began to run. Okay, this is the one. Uh, uh this is the uh, one type of story. Okay, and the similar story in another tone. It was a dark, moonless night, so Anita walked through the deserted streets as quickly as she could. She could neither see nor hear anyone. The back of her neck tingled. Though she wrapped her jacket more tightly around her, the tingling intensified. Her pace quickened, and she saw a shadow swoop behind her before she began to run. Okay. So just see these two passages. While it is important to use a variety of sentences in our writing, we must keep in mind that our choice of sentences conveys different ideas and molds. a story differently so whenever you are going to write story or essay you need to remember one thing we need to use proper vocabulary we need to use proper ideas it's really very very important however there are no hard and fast rules as we write we must visualize the story and choose our sentences accordingly we just imagine how what had happened that day or whatever you want to write just imagine and you will be able to write good sentences so for that read these examples might be useful for you just read them very very carefully it was a dark moonless night a simple sentences forces your reader to stop and visualize the setting okay simple sentence but whenever anyone reads wants to read few more lines adding to the mystery of the story okay it was dark moonless night means there is some mystery it was dark moonless night so anita walked through the deserted streets as quickly as she could okay a compound sentence forces you your reader to read on and the mystery is somewhat diluted okay it's because of the compound sentence it's because of the combination of two sentences the reader wants to read continuously next she wrapped her jacket more tightly around her but the tingling intensified though she wrapped her jacket more tightly around her the tingling intensified so just look at these sentences even though both sentences convey the same thought these both sentences they convey same thought 
the complex sentence gives the mystery away earlier okay here we get to know about the mystery the use of subordinating conjunction though at the beginning here of the sentence tell us that something contradictory is going to happen because of this subordinating conjunction used initially it shows something mysterious is going to happen okay some surprise element is there in the story the compound sentence on the other hand makes us think that the character is going to be safe but then gives us clue to the opposite okay so these are the two types of sentences already we have learned complex sentence compound sentence also and compound complex sentences also so you need to use them properly this is what if you want to make your story more interesting you need to use compound you need to use complex type of sentences so it is going to be very very interesting when you are going to write something for your audience okay so the simple uh, hope is you have to write question number 1 to 10 answers the questions are on page number 18 and 19 in the next lecture i am going to explain you each and every single questions answer so now try don't take any tension just pay attention towards the sentence structure of the questions read them properly and carefully correct so thank you so much for watching this video very carefully and patiently so it is very short video you have to complete 1 to 10 question set so please just complete them within a given time i'm waiting for your question answers okay thank you so much take care have a great day to all of you